just had more and more. If you lost a few bit, what was new? That's what nature had in store. They didn't care if Sally died or flew. Jimmy Ben and dried us when he turned two. Nobody kicked up a great big bus if you lost one or two percusses. Well, actually, I don't believe that's true. They felt great to them like you. Talking just a few generations ago, they loved the kids and didn't want to let them go. As a father with a brand new bed, he want to do what's right. Nothing crazy. Try to get him sleeping on his back in the crib. Get a car seat and strap him in. Now some people don't know but in the internet. It has opinions and calls me the fret. They say vaccines are dangerous, sounds outrageous, but I want it just the same. Should I listen to my doctor or heed the invective of a playboy bunny and a pet detective? Toxins are bad, except in the case when you like to stick it, then they won't hear your face. If 55, this fella Jonas saw cured polio and how the lovers talked. Hallelujah, no more iron lungs. They said to go back to the summer sun. Now, 50 years later, near Tarpadesh, there was a nasty little rumor about the vaccine's effects. So few kids got it, don't you know? More need to suffer from polio. I have a niece, her name is Mamie, a brave little girl, fighting leukemia. She can't get her shots, but her parents pray she'll be safe. Anyway, you see it turns out we're all in a herd Like skinny little cows who use tools and words We all protect me about the things we do That's what you call the golden rule Should we do what's effective or heed the invective of a playball bunny and a pet detective? Should we do one to others or listen to hacks Who say these diseases should make a comeback? Back in the day they dearly loved their